Jamie Lynn from Heartfelt Horsemanship here. Um, this is Gareth on our project, Melissa, if you've been following our YouTube posts about Melissa's progress. Um, and Melissa becoming a tame horse and trainable. Um, I thought you guys might like to see a progression of how far Melissa's come in the last week. Um, you'll notice her head's down, she's blinking, she's looking around. Now Gareth is still making sure that he moves slowly and methodically through the four core movements, her one rein stop, her disengagement, and her direct rein. Um, she moves a little bit easier now. It's almost like she's looking forward to her ride these days. She stops at the saddle every chance she gets to ask if it's her turn. She doesn't want to leave us at the gate. So she's really making a lot of progress in terms of wanting to be a perfect partner instead of a, a wild, frightened thing. Gareth is just stepping her through her anti-flight checks. Uh, I'm going to do a short ride as much as the sun will allow this afternoon. Uh, we're spending a couple hours a day with Melissa um, to make sure that she goes home to be the safest horse she can be. Um, she's getting lots of time, lots of love and attention, and I actually feel like she's starting to enjoy the process. And you'll notice Gareth is giving lots of what we call dwell time in between each and every request and every maneuver that he makes. That dwell time is where horses learn. Um, so if it looks like we're going deliberately slow, we are. We're waiting for the horse to learn and catch up to learn that they've done the right thing. And Gareth is just getting to where Melissa can travel forward safely and calmly. Um, she's quite young, so her kind of figuring out how to position her feet and shift her weight to carry a rider forward is where she's at now, which ideally with most horses this is kind of where we are by day three or four, <clears throat> and with Melissa sort of as wild and frightened as she was, it's taken, you know, a month to get, get there. Um, not that we did anything wrong or that there was anything wrong with her, she was just, for whatever reason, not afraid of life. So taking the time to make sure that she's tame and not so worried about life has certainly made our job easier. Um, it also makes Melissa safer in the long run, the fact that we took things slow and methodically um, and didn't try and skip ahead um, to, to the fun and fast stuff. We want everything to be done with confidence and with a little bit of grace on Melissa before we step up the program into higher level things. Every time she tries to move forward, Gareth gives her dwell time and also a lot of encouragement. You know, one of the things that doesn't happen enough with young horses is letting them know that they, they sit, they're safe and they did a good job. And Gareth is rubbing her for a little bit of compliment, confidence um, and also getting a little bit of dopamine flowing so she stays in the reasoning side of her brain versus the reactive side of her brain. <coughs> Gareth is being really particular with how he picks up his reins and he uses his body, always eyes, belly button, legs, rein last so that she doesn't have to be pulled around on her face later on in her riding career. So it looks like Gareth is exaggerating, and he is, so that <coughs> Melissa um, never has to question what Gareth's intentions are when we ask her to do something. This matters a lot for a young horse <coughs> with them getting the answer before um, we ask the question. If we're obvious and exaggerated, and the chance of them, you know, sort of making a mistake um, narrows quite a bit. Um, and a lot of people sort of are afraid to put themselves out there and, you know, let their arms hang out or use their legs, you know, obviously. But we're doing this all for the horse's benefit to make sure that they understand what it is that we're asking of them in the first place. You can see the way that she's holding her legs underneath herself. She's a little bit more confident. You know, still lacking in confidence and lacking in balance. Um, but she's looking more like a, a typical three or four year old horse does than, a, um, than she was a couple of weeks back. And that is just about the time that we've spent with her, um, helping her to realize she doesn't need to be afraid, and also taking her through the, the four core movements again and again and again until she learns that the way that she moves in the human world doesn't need to be something that's frightening to her and that we aren't going to think she's done anything wrong.